right before I found Move Not, I was really struggling with my body. I just felt like my body could not keep up and I was having a lot of lower back pain, felt uncomfortable, um, and I knew that I needed to change something. I'm Diana Matula and I'm a level three Move Not trainer. I'm working as a personal trainer right now. And then in my personal life, I am really into homesteading. So we have five acres in Oregon and um, I'm usually in my garden or out on our land, just doing homesteading chores in my free time. Found out about Move Not around the same time as Katie Bowman's program, but I was keeping Move Not kind of in my back pocket because I actually didn't feel ready for it when I first found out about it. I felt a little bit intimidated just because of how high level it appeared to me, which now I have a completely different perspective on that. Um, but that's just where my head was at at the time. I was just nervous about whether I could complete any of the program because of how much pain I was in at the time. Did the Katie Bowman certification and then after that I was like, all right, now I'm ready. And I went right into level one and level two and quickly learned that MoveNet was way more accessible than I realized and that it fit right in. So um, as soon as I started doing it, I started feeling immensely better, like exponentially better once I started practicing MoveNet regularly. I actually did dive right into the certification and I wouldn't necessarily recommend everyone do it that way, but I decided to go all in. So I signed up <laughs> with a month or less before a level one and two certification. And I thought I would just go for it uh, and see how it went. And I had a pretty low pressure mindset going into it so that way i thought i would just learn from people in real life i think that i was just struggling with really low self-confidence around my movement abilities at the time and so i wanted that one-on-one -on -one, like real life personal experience and it also did help me feel a lot more comfortable knowing that the certification was actually taught by two women so my takeaways from Mobile One and Two were that it was so much more fun than I ever could have expected. I immediately felt at home. I immediately felt like I was with my people and my tribe. So when I got to the certification, I just realized here they are in one room and we're gonna get to have so much fun together. And order in which we went through the certification, it helped me feel really comfortable because each skill was building upon the next one. So I didn't ever feel like I was being thrown into something that we hadn't already done a little bit of preparation with. Going into Move Not felt like tapping back into that, you know, inner child that was at gymnastics practice and just having a blast, having the time of my life just playing around. Getting back into movement being fun and testing my capabilities in a way that was like me autonomously choosing to do that. And for me at this point, I'm more interested in working on move not and natural movement skills than a, a sport specific skill. Because part of my story has been wanting to connect a fitness and movement practice back, back to nature and the outdoors. And move not has really been the modality that <laughs> that does that the best. So <laughs> that's what it's all about, right? Is bringing it back to a connection with nature. Definitely level three was a whole different, <laughs> whole different deal. So that was a beast. And many of those skills, many of those tests I did not pass. So those became a huge focus for the following two years after the certification. Every certification, it, sound, it seems like, <laughs> happens this way where there's that fear and anxiety going into it. And then as soon as I arrived, I quickly realized, oh, these people are great. Like, yes, it's more guys than I'm used to training in MoveNet with, but they all are 
so wonderful. I really bonded with each and every participant there. And again, just had that feeling of like, we're all in this together. It felt like everyone was there just to support each other in doing each and everyone's best. And that also really helps shift the mindset of like, this isn't, you know, a a show of who's the best here. This is just everybody going out and doing things that are just honestly really challenging and really hard for everyone. Help me remind myself that we're here for a greater reason than just passing the level three tests. We're here for that impact that it's gonna have on our lives when we go home and our overall lifestyle and our relationship with, with movement, with our bodies, but also with nature and with whatever spirituality we have. My life has changed so much since level three. I decided that I wanted to become a personal trainer and I wanted to go into fitness. And that had not been on the radar for me before that. So MoveNet was crucial in giving me the confidence in my skills and capabilities, in my strength, um, and just in my relationship with movement and fitness. I now feel so much more capable in helping out on my property and I will tell you that it is exclusively because of my movement out training that I've been able to uh, use a weed whacker, like a full gas powered weed whacker for as long as I want to now without back pain, as well as moving around heavy loads of like a wheelbarrow full of rocks. That's something that in the past I would not even attempt to do and I would just have to ask my husband to do those kinds of tasks. And at this point, there isn't a lot that I feel like I have to ask for help with. So I just feel so much more confident and capable and empowered in my body. And that's what I am wanting to share with everyone else. I talk about movement all the time <laughs> with all my friends and family. And I do feel like I have become a resource for people that know me and get to work with me. I know that MoveNet can help everyone. I will say that ground movement and especially rocking has really helped improve my core strength. Um, and doing get-ups and rocking get-ups was a big focus for me to build core strength as well so that I just have stability when moving heavy loads around. Um, for me, especially, Tying it to a capability and a skill is essential in making the movement practice or the exercise that I'm doing be fun. In gymnastics, I had sprained my ankle multiple times. So I still have a left ankle that sometimes, it, like if I'm not conscious of it, it will co like collapse out to the side. But working on balancing um, has so greatly improved it that I really don't worry about it at all anymore. And it was so fun to get back up on balance beam two by four, um, you know, 20 years after I had done it as a child and be like, oh yeah, I love doing this. Like this brings me right back. So just getting up on a two by four and balancing, I think can bring a lot of people right back to childhood. These skills translate into things that you're going to need to do every day just to feel good and feel capable in your body. Um, but you'd be surprised how quickly you can build your skills. That's something that I've noticed as well as that it, um, it starts to come back really quickly. Another great strategy is to try to set up your environment at home to be able to support your movement that practice. Whatever helps make it easy for you. I'm really excited to bring more women into move not. I want to inspire women to go out there, try move not, and get to the higher levels of move not too, because you don't have to pass at the certification. You can just go do it and have fun and see how much of it you can do. So it's it's more about just going for it if you think that it might be a fun experience rather than feeling like you have to go into it and do it perfectly or do it super well and pass everything. That's my main takeaway.